Over the past few months, we've learned what it's like to be a patient at Verber Dental Group. Now we're going to learn what it's like to be an employee. Dr. Michael Verber is back with us today on the show. So is Adrian Liska, and they're going to share job opportunities with us. Verber Dental Group is sponsoring this segment today. Dr. Verber, we know from talking with you over the months that Verber Dental Group constantly expanding, constantly enhancing things, and now you're expanding in terms of staff. Tell me about dental careers. Well, you know, dentistry is a wonderful career. I had a, a mentor that uh, used to say that dentistry is the greatest hobby in the world. And, you know, I, I think he and I both feel like we would do this for free if we could, you know, if we had to. Uh, I am a general dentist. The nice thing about being a general dentist is there's lots of different things you can specialize in and follow your interests. We have uh, specialists in our group, an oral surgeon, a periodontist that does, focuses on gum disease and gum surgeries. Uh, we have an endodontist that does root canals, pediatric dentists, but there's lots of other careers in dentistry too. Treatment coordinators that help patients um, with customer service and, and working out treatment plans for them, scheduling appointments. We have uh, dental assistants and expanded function dental assistants, that's what Adrian is, um, that help do a lot of restorative procedures and surgical procedures with our dentists um, and do a lot of things independently now with, with, with patients, almost like uh, nurse practitioners or physician's assistants mm -hmm. in medicine. Uh, and then we also have hygienists, which are almost kind of like our primary care providers. They're the, the front line and build relationships with our patients and do a lot of preventive things. Adrian, Dr. Verber mentioned your specialty. Can you tell me more about that specialty and what you see as the advantages of doing that? Sure. As an expanded function dental assistant, you're able to do more hands-on than what a certified dental assistant can. Um, we're able to place fillings, contour, polish. Um, we help in the decision making of some treatment. Uh, you can place fluoride, sealants. Um, it's just very rewarding. You can teach patients on their oral care um, and just give them a beautiful smile that they're looking to get when they come in to see us. For dental careers, what sort of schooling and education is needed? Well, as a general dentist, I did four years of undergrad and then uh, four years of dental school. A lot of dentists now are doing a year of residency. Specialists do more time. Um, but there are also a lot of careers where you could come in right out of high school and do some on-the-job training. Uh, uh, expanded function dental assistants, for example, you could come in, uh, do some on-the-job stuff, and then we would actually pay for you to go to school while you're working. Uh, it's about a year program, evenings and Saturdays. Uh, dental hygienist is uh, either a two-year associate degree or a four-year bachelor's degree. Um, so there's lots of different career, career pathways. Uh, our, ARM, the Verber Advanced Dental Institute, is working on ways to get uh, people interested in these careers some more information. If somebody's interested now, how do they get information about what's available? Sure, they can go to verberdentalgroup.com slash careers. All of our positions and to all of our offices are on that website. Very good. Well, thank you for sharing it with the audience, and thank you both for being back with us. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. There's more to come in our second half hour. As we go to break, we thank Verber Dental Group for sponsoring that segment. We'll be right back.